2024 exclusives for San Diego Comic-Con have been revealed by Funko. And of course, like every single con, people are wondering what they should buy right now or what should they buy either later or not buy at all. I'm DK Wrestler, and in today's video is going to be a brand new installment of Cop Up or Pass Up, a series where I look at a certain set of exclusives, so in this case, San Diego Comic-Con 2024, and determine via detail my own personal reaction and the overall hype from the Funko Fanatics on whether each of the items are worth a cop or a pass. And for this video, I am going to mention about the Funko Pops only because in tomorrow's video of the worst to best, I am going to be mentioning all of the exclusives. So the first exclusive is the Batman Superman fusion for DC Comics. Pass. And although it's a pretty decent looking pop, I think really a lot of the hype on social media was for the fact that this was the very first exclusive revealed. So people were just hyped overall that the Comic-Con exclusive reveals were beginning. And with the amount of items that are going to be shared on the Funko Shop that I feel like this is going to be on the back of people's minds and that there's more pops that are more of a priority over this one. Next up is Godzilla cop. Now, although this seems like an exclusive that could possibly be one of those ones that actually doesn't sell out, it does fit all three of my criteria of my own personal reaction, the hype on social media, and the detail looking very awesome. So that's basically why I'm saying cop in this case. Beagle Scout Snoopy from Peanuts. Pass. Once again, it's the same reason I mentioned with the Batman Superman Fusion Pop is that because there's so many pops being exclusive to the Funko Shop that I feel like this is one that people are not going to get right away and because there's been so many Beagle Scout Snoopy Pops for Peanuts that maybe not everyone's gonna want to get this pop specifically and that they'll wait later on to get it. Papa Smurf from the Smurfs. Pass. Although there is that brand new set of the Smurfs Funko Pops and there is no Papa Smurf until now, I think that one big reason is the fact that this pop is going to be shared with Target and a lot of those big box retailers shared exclusives do sit on the shelf for a while since there is an abundance of them. An abundance of them to the point to where they will end up going on sale at some point, so pass up for right now. The Vaporizing 001 from Stranger Things. Pass. Once again, the same thing because it's not only a Target exclusive, but this isn't the first time we are getting a 001 pop, and I think a lot of people at this point are sick and tired of another 001 pop. At least make a new character or a new version of a character that maybe we've only gotten one of. Protozoa from Xenon. Cop. And this is mainly for the fact that this will be a limited piece count item. Edna Mode from The Incredibles. Cop. Main reason behind this is that this is the first Edna Mode pop since the OG pop they made back in 2011, 2012. So a lot of people who never got the chance to obtain an Edna Mode pop back in the day have a chance of getting it now. And this could be the only time that you can get a newer version without having to pay so much money for that OG version. Kermit the Frog from the Muppets. Cop. Even though I'm not entirely the biggest fan of the way that this pop looks, this is the first time we are getting a Kermit standalone pop in so many years. This may be the easiest way for people who, once again, could not get any of the older Kermit pops that were standalone 4-inch pops, but now you can get it here with San Diego Comic-Con's releases. The Beach Attired Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. Pass. Now, although this may attract some Disney fans, I don't think it's going to attract the wide variety of Disney fans for the most part. However, with the glow in the dark version, I will say it's a cop. And my reasoning behind it, I'm gonna save near the end of the video because I don't wanna keep repeating myself about five more times with the same reason. The six inch bandage Baymax from Big Hero 6, cop. I think that Big Hero 6 has a big enough fan base to where this pop will sell quite well, even to the point to where I think that at some point it will sell out, whether it is the glitter version or the non-glitter version. Mr. Sinister from X-Men. Pass. Now, once again, this is going to be one of those exclusives that I find that because the Funko shop where this is being shared to has quite a bit of exclusives that this is going to be on the back of people's mind and that they're going to focus on a lot of the different ones first before deciding to get this pop. And I definitely do see this as being one of those pops that whenever Funko decides to do another one of those maybe $5 mystery boxes on the Funko shop, that this pop could be a part of it because they probably have a lot of these made. Spider Boy for the Marvel lineup. Pass. 
glass. Now, although this is a really cool pop and people have been wanting a Spider Boy pop, I feel that once again, it falls into the same trap as the Papa Smurf and the Vaporizing 001. And that's because the fact that it is shared to Target. So there's probably gonna be a lot of them made flooding the shelves and possibly at some point going on sale. So I would wait on this pop for a little bit before actually pulling the trigger on it. The Grand Admiral Thrawn and Darth Vader pops pass. The Grand Admiral Thrawn isn't entirely the greatest looking pop and especially we've gotten tons of Grand Admiral Thrawns in the past, whether it's from Ahsoka or the Rebel series. And then once again, just another Darth Vader pop to add to the collection. I feel like we've had enough Darth Vaders, although I do think that this Darth Vader has a more likely of selling out compared to the Grand Admiral Thrawn. However, I will mention for the Diamond Collection version that it will be a cop. And once again, I will state my reason near the end of the video for that. The Scented Sugar from One Piece, cop. At the moment, One Piece is clearly the number one selling anime for Funko Pops. And not only that, anime is at the moment the number one selling category for Funko. So you know a lot of those anime fans are gonna wanna get this, specifically this pop, and this is pretty much guaranteed to sell out. So if you can get it for that retail price, definitely get it right away, or else you're most likely paying double, maybe triple on the secondary market. Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Pass. Although this is an anime pop and there is a huge chance that this will sell out, I think that more people would want the sugar pop rather than the Satoru Gojo since we've never had a pop of sugar, but we've had tons of pops of Satoru Gojo and this could be a pop that could sit on the site for a while, so I would say pass for right now. Shinobu Kojo from Demon Slayer. Pass. Although Demon Slayer for the most part are exciting pops for cons, this may be the least exciting Demon Slayer pop we've gotten yet at a convention and because we've gotten a couple of pops before and the fact that this is going to be shared with box lunch that i feel like this could be one of those pops that once again could sit on their site for a while and you can end up using your lunch money to actually purchase this pop at some point gara from naruto shippuden pass now although this is a detailed pop this is basically the same pop we got in a few years ago as a Hot Topic exclusive, except the posing is a little bit different. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman from Yu-Gi-Oh! Pass. Now this may be a little bit of a surprise considering that I collect basically all of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pops. Of course, for me personally, it's a cop, and I know a lot of people are hyped about this pop. It is the fact that this will be shared with Hot Topic to where my reasoning behind this is a pass. And that is because normally with Hot Topic nowadays is that whenever they have their own exclusive or even a convention exclusive, they like to flood their shelves with a lot of that exclusive to the point to where there's too many in stock and that only some people get it and then that forces them to do some sort of sale with it even in that case using your hot cash to eventually buy it or a part of their like buy one get one free or buy one get one 50 percent off deal 10 inch arceus from pokemon cop now this may be a little bit of a surprise considering that normally when it comes to the 10 inch pops i will say pass because nobody wants to really buy a massive pop to take up space in their collection however However, Funko is doing something that I feel like is actually making these pops sell, and that is even though it is a 10 inch pop, it is a Pokemon that has never been transformed into a pop. And with the last convention of C2E2 with the Cresselia, that pop actually sold pretty well. Even it sold out on the Funko shop, I believe. If you are a massive Pokemon fan, this may be the only way you can get Arceus because still at the moment, you can't get a four inch Cresselia pop. Marvin the Martian from Looney Tunes. Cop. Now, now, Looney Tunes for the most part at conventions do extremely well and especially with a character like Marvin the Martian even though we've had a Space Jam version or a Duck Dodgers version so I think this will excite a lot of people and it may be the only opportunity you will get of actually getting a four inch Marvin the Martian pop for Looney Tunes. The six inch Voltron cop. And once again, my reasoning behind this is something I'm going to mention near the end of the video. Elmo with Rocco from Sesame Street. Cop. Kind of like what I mentioned with the Kermit the Frog from the Muppets is that we actually haven't seen a standalone four inch Sesame Street pop in a very long time. We did see the Elmo on trike pop for Target Con, but of course that was a pop rides. And now that we have a new Sesame Street pop that is a four inch pop, a lot of people are going to want to get this because it's 
more affordable than getting that pop rides. And I know this will probably be one of those big sellers for this convention. So jump on it while you can, because this most likely is going to sell out. The glow in the dark Lord Soth from Dungeons and Dragons, Cobb. Dungeons and Dragons has become one of the most unique lineups for conventions to the point to where every single exclusive that is released for a Comic-Con normally sells out. And I feel like this won't be any different. Expecto Patronum Harry Potter, pass. This is just another Harry Potter pop and it's not really that exciting to where people will really want to get this. And this definitely will sit on the back burner, especially at Target where this is being shared to. The Enid and Wednesday pop moments, pass. Now, although this is a pretty cool pop for the lineup, it's mostly for the fact that this is going to be a moments and it's going to be a little bit expensive. Plus it's being shared to a retailer like Barnes & Noble, which is known for putting pops at a more clearance price within the next couple of months. So it's best just to wait on this pop right now. The Wicked Witch and Winged Monkey from Wizard of Oz, pass. Although this is a really cool pop, you got a new molding of the Wicked Witch and you have a little miniature winged monkey there. You have already seen both of these characters before so a lot of people who've already invested in that common set might not want to get this but it may be the opposite of that where if you haven't gotten either of these characters you might want to get this instead of getting those two pops i feel like it could be on the fine line of this could sell out or it might actually not sell out and especially with walgreens of all places actually being a shared retailer for this pop dig and frog from honey smacks pass this is one of the biggest dumpster fires of comic-con exclusives in history you're better off getting that con common version instead. Mayor Freddy Funko along with the drive-in Franny and Pizzeria Proto, all of them being a cop. And now this is where I'm going to finally allude to what I was mentioning throughout this video and that's mainly because all of these are going to be limited piece counts. And of course with limited piece counts if you can't get it right away you're going to be paying a lot of money when it comes to the secondary market especially when it comes to Franny and Proto being limited to 1500 pieces. Even if you're not a fan of the Funko made character characters, you could probably sell them on the secondary market and get a decent amount of money for them going towards pops that you actually need into your Funko Pop collection. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video of Cop of Our Pass Up for San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below on what you're planning on picking up for San Diego Comic-Con this year, and I hope to see you guys in the next video on the channel. One, two, three, I'm out of here.